Hello everyone, my name is General Fancy Pants, and welcome back to The Whispered World. When we last left off, we uh, made it through the gate, and we confronted a couple Asgill, and I think the Asgill leader himself, and now we were caught, and now we're thrown in prison, so we need to find a way out of here. So let's see, we have nothing in our inventory to help us out, so everything we need is going to be in this room, I suppose. So let's start exploring some stuff. There's a chute right here. I can see water down there, if that's what you can call this muddy brew. Okay, and uh, I noticed that Spot isn't with us either, so we can't use him at all. Help! <sighs> of course not. Okay, can we uh, maybe break through this uh, grate here? <laughs> no. The grate lives up to its purpose. No way to escape. That's too bad. How about this haystack here? Ha! Finding something useful in here would be like the proverbial needle in... Hey, it's just a moment. There really was a needle in this haystack. Somebody up there is trying to make a fool out of me. <laughs> well, they're doing a good job out of it. Apart from the needle, there's nothing more to get from here. Except lice, perhaps. Eh, there's worse things. I'm not really that hungry. Okay, let's see, can we take a little bit of it? Alright, so we have a needle. Let's take a look at this. A needle in a haystack. Am I supposed to be pleased with that? Yes, yes you are. It's, uh... I'll keep that idea in mind in case I want to pierce my tongue sometime in the future. Oh, that would hurt so bad. Hey. 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 I'm not really... Okay. So we have needle and we have some hay. So now it's just time to figure out what we can do with those two things, if anything. We have uh, this door of cell. Come on, there you go. I can see a kind of a canyon through the grating. There's no sign of the guard whatsoever. Okay, interesting. Let's see, can we open it? I have enough self-esteem left to refrain from rattling at the grating. Okay, can we uh, call out? Hey? Hello? What's going on in there? What do you want, you fool? Okay, um, how about just let me out? Let me out. A bold wish. What could possibly make me do such a foolish thing? Because I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. <laughs> yes! The innocent taste the best. So tenders! Ugh. Yeah, that's kind of disturbing. It's a mistake to keep me imprisoned here. I have to prevent the end of the world. Yeah, it really. It... It, it, it came to me in the vision. I know it sounds crazy. Okay, that's kind of weird. And improbable. And totally made up. And because I can't prove it in the least, I naturally wouldn't see a reason to let me out of here. Oh. <laughs> Mark boy. Okay, uh, yeah, I gotta pee. Uh, I gotta go pee. What about it? Uh, maybe you could take me somewhere else now? To some kind of an Askill bathroom? Uh, a, a piss pot? <laughs> Whatever. What do you think the shoot in your cell is for? Oh. Ew. That's disgusting. Ooh, maybe I could join them. Uh, maybe I could join you. Oh, you already joined us. I... Oh, yeah? I did? I mean... What do I do? Think hard! For what reason? Could us Askill need a clown? I give up. 
haven't got a clue. Well, some people don't like clowns. But we Asgill have strong stomachs. <laughs> we don't care if anything tastes funny. <laughs> Never mind. Just let me croak in here. That's what we had planned. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's see. I have a couple questions. I have a couple of questions. Please go ahead, but make it snappy. Are you the Askill? You've guessed it. Okay. What did you do to Spot? Boss, look how has put him in a cage. Tomorrow he will be in the soup. But caterpillars taste awful. As Askill don't eat to satisfy our hunger alone. We also relish the desperation and the pure hate. Yes. Hmm. That sounds like one of Grandpa's recipes. <laughs> Who is in this cell before me? Yes. It was a scrawny little fellow, our last guest. Huh. Green was his skin, and the thin were his arms so thin he was so scrawny it's a shame that he had to leave so soon he knew some about the whispering stone hmm. yes but he didn't have it with him uh -oh. Luko was very upset I hope that's not Bobby he was talking about Luko is looking for the Whispering Stone? What does the clown know about the Whispering Stone? Oh, I, I don't know anything about it. It, uh, it just sounded like a thrilling story. You can tell me some other time. Okay. No further questions. No further questions. Even better! Okay, uh, I want to talk to your leader. I... I want to talk to your leader. You really want to talk to the boss? To the great Luko? Yes. Yes, that's what I want. He doesn't want to talk to you, though. Okay. And the reason why I left uh, this for the last is because this is what we actually need. I'm hungry. <laughs> you want something to eat? Well, here's something for you. Okay, there's a little bit of food that looks ah! nasty. Oh, wha what exactly is this? It's not by any chance spot. <laughs> no, it's the remains of the mild dew soup. The boss didn't want it anymore. So he didn't want to eat this? He must be a real gourmet. You have no idea. It's the third time this week that he has ordered the execution of a cook. Yikes. I want to complain to the cook. <laughs> you are hardly in a position to do that. Besides, the cook is missing. At the moment. He's missing? He has displeased the boss. Yes. So he went into hiding. I was supposed to go look for him, but a certain prisoner won't stop making a fuss. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you might as well go looking for the cook. You might as well go looking for the cook. I won't make any more of a fuss. You will keep quiet, yes? Cross my heart. Don't you dare make the slightest sound while I'm away. Sound. <laughs> okay. Looks like he's gone now. Let's uh, take a look at this tray. Ick. It's enough to make you think Grandpa is a celebrity chef. Okay, how about, uh, is there... Can I eat it? 
No. I'd rather starve or have somebody torture me with a red hot iron. It's a difficult choice. Okay, well, there's nothing for it but to just take it. And now we have our tray with our food, and we have this wooden spoon. Interesting. Let's take a look at uh, more of this. I think there's a keyhole. Yep. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a key in the keyhole at the other side. Ah, can we t somehow get it? My fingers are much too lumpy to fit into the keyhole. Okay, and then there's this food hatch down here, since we can't get the key out right now. It seems that the sun has risen now. Okay. Hey? Hello? Hmm. There's no sign of the guard whatsoever. Okay, so the guard is gone. That won't help. I can't even get my hands through it. Okay. Well, we have this tray of food. Let's see if there's some way of getting this food off. He's not going to eat it. He already made uh, that pretty clear. Maybe we can uh, wash it off with the basically toilet water. Pretty Let's get rid disgusting. of that thing. Ugh, so gross. All right, so now we just have a sticky tray. Let's see if we can. Uh, let's put the tray. Let's put the needle actually first into the keyhole. See if we can push the key out. I should be able to push the key out of the keyhole with this. If my stubby fingers don't thwart my plans again. Well, I knew it. I can't push the needle far enough into the lock. I'd need some kind of extension. Okay, well, the only extension we have is this wooden spoon. Let's see if we can somehow attach the needle with the spoon. Let's see. If I attach the needle like this, I get an unshaped... Uh, what you might call it? Uh, half spoon, half needle. It's a spoodle. <sighs> well, better than nothing. Fair enough. All right, let's see if we can push the key out now. Hmm, I could try to loosen the key from the keyhole with this. But it would just fall down on the other side and I'd never see it again. All right, so we need something to catch it with. We do have the sticky tray, which obviously will fit underneath the uh, food hatch. So let's put that there. And put the spoodle into the keyhole. I should be able to push the key out of the keyhole with this if my stubby finger... Alright, we'll skip that. Hey! I made it! I should savor this triumph as long as I can. I bet I'll get caught again soon. <laughs> Alright, let's take the tray. And now I have a tray with a key. Couldn't I have solved this problem in a more inventive way? The bluntness of this action diminishes my triumph. And the fact that the key is glued to the tray, of course. How do I get it off? Okay, so the tr uh, key is glued to the tray. So we can't just take it. Let's see, can we, uh, I don't know. I can't open the door like this. The key is glued to the tray. <sighs> It really would be an auspicious occasion if something ever worked on the first <laughs> attempt. That would be an amazing thing. Alright, can we pry off the key with the spoodle? I should be able to free the key with this. Yuck. Now my hands are all sticky. That's disgusting. Anyway, now we have this key. Let's take a look at it. Couldn't I have solved this problem? All right. Looks like it's going it's to be the same kind of stuff. There are some leftovers sticking to it. Thanks, but no thanks. That's okay. I understand. Let's uh, see if this keyhole will, or key will work. Hmm. That guy doesn't seem to be anywhere near at the moment. All right. It can't get any worse, can it? Although, I've had that same thought before. That's true. You have. All right, and we are out. Okay, so what do we have going on here? We've got a drawbridge, and we've got a rope, grindstone, a barrel, all sorts of stuff here. And we've got a cave potentially back that way, door, a kitchen sign. So let's see if we're, let's start looking at some of this stuff. Let's look at the drawbridge. The drawbridge is closed. I never reach the other side this way. But let's be positive. There are plenty of opportunities to get killed on this side too. Fair enough. Let's see. Um. 
Can we push the drawbridge down? Let's see. Small clown, drawn up bridge. Nope. I can't reach it. Okay. Yo who? Yo, uh, bloodthirsty asker. Uh, would you mind lowering the drawbridge? I'd like to flee. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I'm just guessing the rope won't do any good. Seems like our next stop priority is to find Spot, because he seems to be really helpful to us. Plus, he's our buddy. Let's take a look at this grindstone, though. That's where the Askill hone the knives they use for disemboweling fleeing prisoners. Oh, dear. Alright, let's see. That's where the Askill... Okay. <laughs> Can we use it for any purpose? I hardly have any fingernails left to file. That's not surprising, considering all the excitement. Okay, so he chooses fingernails, apparently. Let's take a look at this barrel. Empty. I guess there's nothing in it. Hello! Echo! Go, 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 go. <laughs> Alright. Let's take a look at the kitchen sign. Room of gluttony. Anyone who wants to eat off the floor can bring his own garbage. Yummy. Yum's mouth watering. Yeah, that sounds delicious. All right, I guess let's uh, head into the kitchen. I think this is the kitchen. Yep. Yeah, let's take a look at this table. Oh my! This table is sticky. It must have been years since anybody cleaned up. Alright, we have a fly here, we have a table, plate, chopsticks, let's see here, it doesn't really look like there's anything in here we can use at the moment. Let's uh, keep exploring before we mess with their food. Let's take a look at this door. There's neither a handle nor a keyhole on this door. How could anyone ever get in there? Okay, let's uh, see if anyone's in there. I'd better not draw any attention. If the Askill find me here, they're likely to peel the skin off my bones. There's neither a handle okay, so anyone there's no keyhole or handle. Yeah, it looks like there's another entrance down here. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, okay, so it takes the upper levels. Oh, the way upper levels, okay. <laughs> Um, well, let's see. So there's this, that, that, and that. Let's start over here. And now we're over here. Let's go. We came in through this entrance right here. Let's go through this doorway on to the right. And what do we have here? Let's take a look at this uh, suit of armor. I just saw someone in there. I don't want to meet the Askill whose suit of armor this is. Yeah, that's a huge suit of armor. Let's see here. Let's uh, knock on the armor. Let's see if we can get the guy's attention. Hey! Stop that! Huh? Let's try it again. Hey! Stop that! Huh? Looks like there's a club down here. Let's take a look at this. The Askill are obviously preparing for an attack. Let's see. The Askill are armed to the teeth. Okay, can we take this club? Let's see if we can knock it, the, the armor with the club. Hey! Stop that! Huh? Okay. We'll quit messing with this guy. We'll talk to him, or at least, at least attempt to talk to him, in the next episode. So I'll see you next time on The Whispered World. Until then.